Hi, today I'm going to explain a drama and romantic film, The Ballad of Jack and Rose, released in the year 2005. Let's get into it. Jack and his daughter Rose are lying on the lawn watching the clouds until they see a pickup truck pass near them. They both get up in a hurry and Jack immediately goes into a basement. He grabs a shotgun and goes out to meet Rose again. They both get into their van and drive in a hurry to the center of town. There Jack finds a group of contractors at work and fires a shot in the air to scare them off. When they leave, Jack and his daughter go into the house. Jack starts writing swamp on one of the walls while explaining to his daughter that the corrupt government only intends to displace people like him from the communities and build hundreds of artificial houses. Jack and Rose return home for lunch, but before eating, Jack calls his friend Matthew to complain about what happened earlier. Then, a montage of Jack and Rose makes it clear that they are environmentalists living apart from society. Father and daughter hang out relaxing on the couch until Jack asks Rose if she has considered living with someone else in the house. She gets angry and leaves immediately. Jack follows her to her treehouse to comfort her, but she won't stop crying. At that point, it is revealed that Jack has a terminal illness that Rose is not quite coming to terms with. Rose tells her father that if he dies, she will end her life too, but Jack replies that her life would have been meaningless if she makes a decision like that. They both lie on the floor and she asks her father to tell her a story. When they finish talking, they look at each other with some tension and Jack immediately leaves, while Rose looks at him through the window. Another montage shows Jack with some remorse for what happened. Jack parks his car outside a house and then goes downstairs to knock on the door, where he is answered by a woman who tells him to go downstairs to meet the person he is looking for. Jack goes downstairs and meets Kathleen, his girlfriend. They both start kissing and end up doing what everyone expected. Later they sit down at the table to talk and he invites Kathleen to live in his house. The woman is surprised and asks him if he has thought about how Rose would get along with her children. But Jack doesn't change his mind and keeps insisting until he manages to convince her by telling her that Rose needs a female figure in her life. Later Jack takes advantage of a moment alone with his daughter to tell her that they will have other people living with them in the house. It is at that moment that Kathleen arrives with her sons Rodney and Thaddeus and the whole family meet. Jack sees the surprise on their faces and explains to them that that small town used to be an experiment to prove that people can live without exploiting the Earth's resources. Upon entering the house, Rose begins to feel uncomfortable with the presence of Rodney and Thaddeus hanging around in her living room. She confronts the boy and asks him how long they will live there, to which Rodney replies that they don't plan to stay for long and that it is her mother Kathleen who is likely to stay with her. The boys then begin to strike up their first conversations with Jack asking him what he does for a living. They also tell him that his mother had told them that he was an engineer and not a hippie. Jack explains that he graduated as an environmental engineer in Scotland and has lived in the United States for many years. After seeing her father having fun with his new girlfriend and her children, Rose runs out of the place, so Jack follows her. She begins to complain to her father that they are not only guests but that they plan to stay. Jack explains that he just wants to try and that he didn't think she would be so angry. Rose is offended by this, as he never told her he was in a relationship with a woman. After talking for a few moments, she leaves. Rose spends time trying to repair her treehouse until Thaddeus interrupts her and asks her to take him snake hunting. She guides him to the site and then leaves in a hurry. Later, upon returning home, Rose goes up to her father's room and spies on him when he was alone with Kathleen. This makes her angry, so she goes back to where Rodney was and tries to seduce him. He begins to get nervous and flatly refuses despite Rose's repeated advances. Instead of doing that, Rodney proposes to give her a haircut. After the haircut, Rose hugs Rodney and goes to her father's room again to wake the couple up in an unusual way. Jack goes after his daughter but before scolding her they both start laughing at the prank Rose has just pulled. They both look at each other strangely and Rose asks him if he still loves her, but at that moment Kathleen appears on the scene to find out if everything is alright. Jack says goodbye to Rose and goes back to his room. Kathleen and Jack start talking about Rose's mother, but Jack doesn't give her too much information. She then tries to tell him that it's not normal for a girl Rose's age to not associate in any way with people who live out of town. Jack replies that he pulled Rose out of school when she was 11 as he doesn't believe in the education system. She tries to give him advice but Jack gets angry and tells her not to have an opinion about the way he raises his daughter. Kathleen apologizes and the two reconcile. The next day Rose comes out of her room for breakfast and dresses very differently than usual. When the whole family sits down at the table, Rose asks Thaddeus what his plans are for the day, to which the boy replies that he is going out to look for work. She asks if she can accompany him, but Jack gets jealous and tells her that she's not going out anywhere dressed like that. Rose meets Gray, one of her father's suppliers. 
She greets him in a friendly manner and tells him about Kathleen, who appears at that very moment and introduces herself. Then he is alone with Rose, who asks him for his first kiss and tries to seduce him. But Grey tells her that she is not like that and that her first kiss should be romantic, and recommends that she do it with a person she really loves. Later, Rose and Rodney travel by boat at full speed to get off the island and look for a friend of Rodney's. She asks him if he ever thought about suicide, and Rodney jokes that he would rather be the one to end his life. She asks him if he has ever thought about suicide, and Rodney replies that he has, but jokingly replies that he would rather be the one to end his life himself. Rose replies that she will end her life as soon as her father dies, since at that point she will no longer have any reason to be alive. Back at the house, Rodney's friend introduces herself as Red Berry and gives them some candy she smuggled in. She then reads Rose's palm and tells him the meaning of her name. In the evening, Rose searches for a snake and places it in a cage. While returning home, she sees Thaddeus doing adult things with Red Berry and they stare at each other. Upon returning home, she keeps the snake under her bed and then talks to her dad, who is worried about her. Thaddeus enters Rose's room and takes her V-card from her. The next day, Rose points to the blood on her sheet and leaves a provocative message for her father. He angrily goes to scold her but their discussion is interrupted due to Kathleen's screams. Going to the scene, she reveals that she has seen a snake lurking in the house. Thaddeus discovers the cage under Rose's snake and berates her, but Rose manages to escape. While trying to take down the snake, Jack is interrupted by a man named Marty Rance, who is a businessman who wants to do construction on the island. Jack comes out and shows his displeasure at this, so he threatens the man. Thaddeus appears on the scene and lights a cigarette, Jack is enraged by this and tells him that he wants him and his whole family out of his house in less than a day. The young men organize a psychedelic trip outside the house, Jack arrives on the scene and joins in. Rose starts talking about the island and projects some images of what Jack's life used to be like in his youth. Thaddeus approaches Rose and tries to kiss her, which leads to him and Jack starting to fight. Thaddeus falls out the window of the place and is badly injured. Kathleen finds him and he tells her that Rose was the one who set the snake free to try to murder her, so Kathleen is furious and hits Rose. Thaddeus is treated by medics at the harbor and Rose apologizes to Rodney for everything that happened. He tells her that she is just an innocent mind exposed to a life that would lead anyone to perdition, so she tells him that she must get out of that place so she can escape the madness that is consuming her, but Rose tells him that she can't leave her dad alone. The two say an emotional goodbye and Rose gets into Jack's car. He asks her why she did the snake thing, but Rose gets angry since her dad doesn't understand her, so she leaves. She arrives at one of the houses Marty is trying to build on the island and spends the night there. The next day he goes to look for her to reconcile and after talking for a few seconds she breaks down in tears and asks him to forgive her for everything that has happened. After talking for a few moments, he suddenly gets up and tells his daughter that he is going to do something to change things. He returns home and offers Kathleen money for her and her family to leave, he writes her a check for $15,000 but she asks him to raise his offer, so Jack signs a check for $20,000 and she accepts. As Jack leaves, Kathleen begins to cry inconsolably. Jack returns to where his daughter was and spends the night with her in one of the houses built by Marty. After dinner, they both go to bed and begin to talk about everything that changed in their lives, but in a deep moment, he and his daughter kiss. Jack immediately pulls away and starts cursing himself. The next morning he wakes up in shock from what happened the night before and climbs into a machine to destroy the house that symbolizes his memories. Later, they go to Marty's house and begin to negotiate the sale of the island. But Jack surprisingly breaks down in tears, and Marty does not want to take advantage of the situation to buy the island, so he asks Jack to come back when he is better. As they leave Marty's house, Rose begs her father not to sell the island, but he tells her that he can no longer keep her locked up living under his ideologies. Arriving home again, Jack begins to deteriorate and says goodbye to his daughter, only to die seconds later. Rose prepares the whole place to burn down the house and end her life with him, but at the last minute, she changes her mind and leaves. Two years later, she is part of another commune and reinvents her life. The end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.